Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the devil and his fallen angels and spirits, you can take your pick of which side is doing it at which time, but they leave their symbolic imagery and idolic imagery, if you will, in movies, television shows, everything all around us. And for Jesus Christ and for the devil and all of this to be real, that's the way that it, it should all be happening like that, all around us. In this movie here that's coming out called Elysium, this shows a lot of that same symbology about the end times. Some event has set the world into turmoil or into darkness, if you will, basically being destroyed, overpopulated, destroyed, natural resources gone. And in this movie, they have set up a space station up in space for all of the rich elite. And it's huge. It's moon size, if you will. And it represents a type of heaven with no disease. And you can live forever. Or, you know, extended days. No cancer is there. That's the big thing about that they show. Just like on the Georgia Guidestones, the main thing on the bottom says, no cancer, no cancer. That's one of the degenerative effects upon the human being. Elysium also is about the Elysium Fields, which is the symbology of heaven. This right here is a picture of the Elysium Fields over in Egypt. Solomon from the Bible, the man of wisdom, came over to Egypt and he was known as Sinemut. And he had some of the most astounding hieroglyphs ever imagined or ever put together. A lot of it shows about the end of days. This right here is the beginning or the entrance to his chamber and it shows everybody in the Elysium Fields. In heaven, in the Elysium Fields, it's that you can live your dreams in peace and harmony forever. Also inside is this astronomical glyph, one of the first ones ever. It's mapping out the day of the Lord. I don't know how to read it enough to find out an exact date on here, but this is mapping out the 12 constellations and the different ages we are in what is known as the fourth age now and at the end of the fourth age they say a gate opens and that this is the short time that the devil has the time to get through or whatever he's doing because this is the time that Jesus takes all of his people through and then the gates closed and the great deception comes upon the earth there's many different theories about the Bible and we are in a world surrounded by demons and the devil the prince of liars so, you're going to have to look at a lot of things and make up your own mind. Even up here, it shows like this figure here coming down with a stone underneath her, representing the new world order coming. Some event is going to, you know, knock the world upside down and change things overnight, is what they keep showing. In Jeremiah 50 of the Bible, it says something moves the earth. That's where you get all the different legends of pole shifts and Nibiru and all those different things, which there is some credibility to all that. Please apply those theories to what you know. This is supposed to be Jesus leaving with the souls, and they go up through this gate when it's open to what's known as the Pallades, in line with the Orion's belt, going to the Seven Sisters, the peace place prepared, the real Elysian fields all mapped out. This even maps out how the two trees of life have been intermingled and the onk here, if you can see it, is split, representing that we are an interbred race and we have a vulture. You need a falcon to be able to fly to heaven. At the very end of this, you have a falcon and a pure onk. Everything will be fixed and, and redeemed. This is showing everything perfectly. This bull represents the 
the same joke that they've been saying forever when Red Bull grants wings when the Red Bull comes and the Bible it's called the second seal apply scripture to how you see it it's the red horse that is granted a big sword and goes off to make war at that time is when this gate is open that's when it all opens and that's the run of the four horsemen during that time they have a short time to get everything done all perfectly correlated but that's the way to the Elysian fields in these star charts to the real heaven in the movie they have the Elysian fields representing the rich and the wealthy and Matt Damon can't go Jodie Foster is called is her name is Rhodes like the road to heaven and Matt Damon they use people's names for everything Matt Damon's a fantastic actor but his name is representing like Damien like the Antichrist in this movie that will show the trailer it talks of him being the only one that can save everybody here he is he's taking the mark of the beast and he's the new world order he's got the chip basically in his head he he's been this is what they're going to do and they're going to try to assault heaven during that limited time they've shown this in many different things in many different music videos of just like an avatar that's them trying to sneak into heaven they talked about it all during the movie that they were trying you know they were being deceitful trying to mimic everything and they sent in the clones that looked like the regular avatar people they even tried to destroy the tree the tree of life in this movie they have made Elysium out to be just the rich and the wealthy which is a perfect way to bend the symbolism to make the whole world you know want to attack Elysium and feel like that they should be part of it to make everybody want to be as Matt Damon was with his Mark of the Beast stuff half cyborg can't find the luxury you deserve on earth look no further than Elysium I will leave this all in the end part of it showing about the machines to keep you young and stuff he even has a gun called a chem rail gun I think that the New World Order is doing something with the chemtrails to affect some things with um, the spiritual matters of things or to even affect the DNA upon the earth of what's going on to mess with whatever is that might be coming they keep showing something is going to come nobody knows what it is something's going to change the world they have an online game by Elysium also the bird back here is representing the V for the horns of the bull and the fifth age we are in the fourth age now and the fifth age is the age of the beast the mark of the beast coming you can see right here he has this all drilled right into his head he talked even in the new Star Treks coming out they talk about into darkness the earth will fall this is being shown over and over again Tom Cruise oblivion the earth has fallen and the woman in the tower and him all in white are ready to leave to basically go to the Elysium fields all of these are showing there's a certain thing going on where the people that aren't going to go or they're going to try to trick them into you know fighting trying to attack heaven even if they can when in reality it'll all just be to help the one antichrist him alone and he will be the only one that's getting anything and getting anything done he will have the whole world focused on him and his idol if you will at the very end it's all a big deception and it will be good so let's check out the trailer and show this through there so this is the planet right here I mean it's looking like a earth everybody gets 10 acres in the real descriptions of the Elysium fields from the other things it's you have your dreams whatever you have dreamed of you get to do that forever and you have eternal life and peace Oh, 
Hello, madam. See how they even get to have robots, everything watching them. This is supposed to be a space station in this movie right here. In the theories of the star charts, you have to actually get to the Pallades. You have to get over what is known as the horns of the bull, which is, that's what it's shown on the star charts. The Pallades is the leg of the bull that's been torn off and thrown into the sky, but you have to get over the bull. No poverty, no war, no sickness. And they have these machines. This one they're saying is just tracing for cancer. They show this machine a lot in the old Stargate films where it rejuvenates the person. They keep showing that there is an actual heaven, that there is an ability that the Lord God has a way to get us there and then the fallen angels are going to try to fight like heck during the, the small window that the gate is open. They're going to try to fight like heck to get there themselves. They're not going to just take all this lying down and all of the people that are, you know, that don't go with Jesus, they're going to be tricked into trying to help all of that. Say no cancer. All through there, right there. This is the mysterious Georgia Guidestones that were put up by a man named R.C. Christian, which is a Swedenham, meaning the Rosicrucians, if you will. What it's talking about after a giant cataclysmic event, and it has the, the new ten inscriptions. But on the very last one, number ten is, Be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. To get rid of all cancer. This is their new world order situation all through here. So we can see right here, this is all about not having the cancer. The degenerative effects. <clears throat> and Matt Damon, the devil cast down, out from the Elysium fields, is on earth basically in the symbolism here. Oops, I missed that. Remember we talked about that we're in the fourth age now? And then make sure to show this. Hopefully my camera isn't too bright. They make sure to show it right away. Five. This is the fifth age. The new world order. The this is what they show is going on. The fifth age. His um, shirt says Arv Arv like Ardvark Dine. Arvadine. A R V A D Y N E. Like Ardvark. 67, 22 on his shirt. Everybody keeps going on about this number 22, like Taylor Swift sings at 22. I have no idea about dates. Who knows? I need to get to Elysium. And now they get him away. Whoever has this, has the power to override their whole system. This is, they have a plan for this. They've been planning for this the whole time. He's just said that. Whoever wears this can get by all of their systems. Whoever has this, has the power to override their whole system. Hey, bring down the boom saw. They're going to change humanity. You can save everyone. We're going to break into the most heavily. You hear that? He said you can save everyone. The most heavily guarded place in the universe, not just around Earth here. This is shown right here, them launching from San Francisco, trying to get up here to the to the um, space station. I believe that there is a stargate at the end of the age, and there's a spiral like that they showed for Obama. This is shown in a lot of other evidence that something's going to happen for a short amount of time, and they're going to try to get in it, or at least get him in it. 
He, he doesn't care about anybody else other than himself. Even though the movie makes it look like they're taking down the rich and he's going to save the world. It's just him and his band of brothers, his fallen angels that he cares about. And it shows them getting, the, getting in on a flight right here. Just like the Trojan horse theory. They want to sneak somebody in. That's their plan. They want to assault heaven. He, he wants to go there. Oh, yeah. And he's all rigged up. He's all New World Ordered and got his machine on. And the first things he does is tear something head, tear something's head off, which is what the New World Order is going to be doing. If you don't take the mark of the beast, they're going to behead you. Just like this. Like the time of the Dark Ages again with Napoleon. They get in there, they have all their little super NWO stuff now. They look like mutants and cyborgs. And they go after heaven. There he is. Whoever you want to apply it to, that's the new world order. They're going to change the human race because they want to make an assault on heaven. They've shown this in several other ways too, however they're going to do it. They've even shown it in the symbolism of stealing a boat. That's their plan for all of this, to try to do that. And they will have everybody backing them up because they show that Jesus is just going to take his people during that big giant event and leave the world a great deception and then the false prophet will convince all of the world to worship the idol and it will give him power to do miracles and wonders all of that right through there so that's another movie just like along the lines of the other ones like with Tom Cruise and Elysium Fields is the supposed to be the symbolism of heaven. This is the New World Order attacking heaven. The chemtrails and everything is, I believe that's all, as I said before, they're, that's meant for stuff to do things. They keep showing us all over the place into the darkness. And even here, he keeps being told that that there's more people that he's been tricked it's all the fallen angels again trying to make it in that window the woman in the tower in this one tells him there's only a short amount of time and that's it it's time to leave and that end of the age window is coming around nobody knows when that is but there's only a short time when it rolls around confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus Believe in your heart, God hath raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Don't take the mark of the beast. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.
You can save everyone. We're gonna break into the most heavily guarded place in the universe. Oh yeah. 